Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and here I am with my new video in the series of setting up and configure VMware on a machine, on a local machine. So in my first two videos or previous two videos, I explained that for how do we set up and install a VMware workstation player on a desktop, on our, on our system. And in the second video, I demonstrated, I explained that how do we set up and configure a Windows 11 operating system on a virtual machine. So in this video, I will be going to show you that how do we install a database, how do we set up a database in VMware, and we will be going to test it by setting up and install the SQL server on, a, on our installer configured VMware, which we have configured in our previous two steps. So before I begin, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's proceed. And the very first step is let me switch to my virtual machine. So as you can see, here is my virtual machine. So as you can see, this is my virtual machine. And in this virtual machine, uh, as you can, okay, so this is my virtual machine, VMware. And in this virtual machine, this is the operating system which I configured in my previous step. So here I need to set up a SQL Server database. And for that, first of all, I need to download and install. We need to download a SQL Server and from where I can download it. So I can follow this link in order to download a SQL Server on my virtual machine. I will share this link in the description below so that you guys can follow this URL and download the virtual machine, download the SQL server on your virtual machine. <clears throat> so as you can see, we used to have the SQL server on premises or in the cloud. So we used to have SQL server on Azure or Edge and on premises, but I'm following the free specialized version and I will be using the Express one. SQL server 22 Express is the free edition of SQL server, ideal for development and production for desktop web and small server application. So I will be going to download this one. So I click on download. I click on download now. And as you can see, the download begins. It's a small file. It, it's a it's a very small file, the setup file. But when we when we run this file, it will actually download the complete file for us, complete, uh, complete software for us. So let's see how do we use it. I open this file. Let's begin the installation part. So I just begin. And as you can see, do you want to allow this step to make changes to a device? Yes, I would like to install SQL Server on my virtual machine. So I begin the installation. And as you can see, SQL Server 22 Express Edition, and it will be getting the things ready. So now you can see we used to have the three type of installation type, the basic, custom, and the download media. And the difference among three of them is basic is select the basic installation type to install the SQL Server with the default configuration. The custom one, we can configure it. And the third one is the download media. We just wanted to download the SQL Server setup file, and we will be going to install them later on a machine of your choice. But I'm going with the first option. I select basic, accept the license agreement. Uh, this is the default location. See C drive program files, Microsoft SQL Server. If you want to change the location, you can do that. And the minimum free space is 6604 MB and the download size is 278 MB. So it is going to download the 278 MB software file and then finally it will begin the installation. I click on install and you can see it will be downloading the install package. So it's downloading the file and the installation will begin. But uh, along with the SQL Server Express uh, Express Edition, so once we once this SQL Server uh, database will be set up, in order to access that, we require SQL Server Management Studio. So we require SSMS. So either we can download the SSMS uh, uh, along with this uh, along with the SQL Server, or else while installing the SQL Server, it will give us an option to download SSMS. So let's begin the installation and at the time of installation, we will get an option to install SSMS. So that time we will be going to download it. So let it begin, it's downloading. So 
So you can see the download is successful and now the installation begin is this it's going to install the SQL server and the supporting files, which is needed to be configured, which is needed to run the database. So it will take a couple of minutes. So once you begin the installation, you can just uh, let it install automatically. And once it gives you a once it gives you a notification to move next, then you have to begin with that. So you have to simply follow the steps the way we used to install the the softwares on our operating system. So it's similar to that. So you can see the SQL Server Express Edition has installed successfully on my desktop. That's the instance name and the location. And see, it's giving an option to install the SSMS. So I'm going to configure that because this uh, we required SSMS. SSMS is SQL Server Management Without SQL Server Management Studio, we will not be able to work on SQL Server. So we need this SSMS. So I just click on Install SSMS. In order to configure, manage the database, we require this SSMS, Download SQL Server Management Studio. You can see it's an integrated environment for managing any SQL infrastructure from SQL Server to Azure database. And uh, we need to download it. So I click on Free Download to SQL Server Management Studio. The download will begin, and once the download, uh, so once the download will over, we can begin the installation. So the SSMS has downloaded successfully. Now I'm going to run it to install this SSMS. So let me begin the installation for SSMS. We can close this part. We can close the SQL Server one. Yes, and uh, let's begin the SSMS installation. So I've already clicked on that to install the SSMS. The file has downloaded for us. We'll begin the installation with SSMS. Open the folder and I can begin the installation. So just double click on SSMS setup because this is very much required in order to configure, in order to perform any operations on SQL Server database, we'll be using this SSMS. So you can see the installation begin. This is the location. So I'm okay with this location. I click on install. Yes and it will install the, it will begin the installation. So let it complete the process. So it's installing the file. It will take a few minutes. And once the installation will complete, we'll be able to access the SQL Server Management Studio from our app launcher. So we can, click on the app and right now if i just try to search for sql server if i try to search for sql server i will be able to get only sql server installed successfully you can see i'm getting sql server 2022 configuration manager but i do not have the sql server management studio because the installation is still going on So as you can see that we have successfully downloaded the SQL Server Management Studio successfully. And now I'm going to install it. So let's begin the installation. Let me double click the setup file. Let me open the setup file and begin the installation. So let me minimize this and we'll see the installation of SSMS. So that's the file. And I need to begin my installation here. So I click on install. So I click on install. Yes, and the installation will begin.
So you can see the installation is about to finish and uh, we're at the very final stage of this setup. So it's finalizing the settings. And uh, if I'll quickly go and check, I click on start and let's check it out. The SQL Server Management Studio, you can see it has been installed successfully. And if I click on, uh, let it finish. And if I, uh, by the time, if I click on the SQL Server Management Studio, I will be able to connect to my SQL Server database. And then we can start setting up the database or creating new database, or uh, we'll be able to configure the database operations in SQL Server. So let this process finish, let it complete successfully. So you can see the setup has completed successfully. And now let's go and check. So I click on start SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, I'm going to open the SQL Server Management Studio very first time. So it will check for all the configurations. And uh, it will ask, uh, it will provide a, uh, it will provide an interface through which we can connect to our database, which we, through which we can access our databases. So I'm going to connect to my database. So I click on connect. And you can see I successfully connected to my SQL server. And now if I want to test the queries, we can just click on new query button and we can test the queries as on required. If you want to create new databases, we can do that. That's the way we can install, we can set up the SQL Server database on our virtual machine. So that's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the our channel. You can post your comments in comment box. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.